Thanks for joining us and welcome to our presentation on creating an exceptional passenger experience at Toronto Pearson International Airport. We would like to take you through our project from start to finish, explaining how we built a brand new digital experience at torontopearson.com, leveraging Sitecore's unique platform. My name is Eric Olofsson, and I'm the Manager of Digital Experience at the Greater Toronto Airports Authority, the organization that operates Toronto Pearson International Airport. I've worked in the digital space for over 10 years, focusing on user experience and advocating for accessible and inclusive design. At the GTAA, my team is responsible for creating a seamless digital experience across all of our channels and properties. And I'm Curtis Beer, the Creative Director at Habanero Consulting Group. I've spent more than 15 years in the user experience and design space working with enterprise organizations. And for the past six years, I've worked with Sitecore designing solutions to support meaningful business and customer experience outcomes. As mentioned, the GTAA operates Pearson Airport. In 2019, we saw over 50 million passengers travel through Pearson. We are Canada's largest airport by total traffic and support the second largest amount of international traffic in all of North America. We also serve a large surrounding community and upwards of 50,000 employees across all of our partners at the airport. And at Habanero, our focus is helping organizations create exceptional employee and customer experiences. And we do that through our focus on supporting people and culture and by delivering technology solutions that put people at the center of the experience. We believe that organizations who align their customer and employee experiences can do extraordinary things to set themselves apart from their peers and competitors. Today, we'd like to walk you through the process for choosing Sitecore as the platform to enable our new website. The methodology behind our research and design-led approach to creating the new digital experience and the future roadmap of torontopearson.com. So any great digital product needs a solid foundation supporting it. Why did we end up picking Sitecore? When reviewing various CMS platforms, one thing that stood out about Sitecore is that it contained everything we were looking for in a CMS in the core offering, as opposed to add-ons that required additional cost and configuration. As a Microsoft shop at the GTAA, we also appreciated its ties to Microsoft products. The new website was also the first property we were looking to rebuild as part of a new unified digital ecosystem. And Sitecore had the ability to scale up and out to different experiences and products and easily introduce and develop personalization capabilities. Finally, as an airport, you can imagine we deal with different scenarios all the time, which changes our user behaviors and needs drastically. We needed a platform that could easily react to, to those changes. So with that said, let's hone in on the research and design-led approach that we took for this work. Our old website has always seen a high percentage share of traffic from mobile devices, from just over 60% in 2015, rising steadily to just under 70% in 2018. The problem, our website was not mobile friendly or responsively designed. You can imagine the frustration this led to both for our digital team and our visitors. This project started with solving that issue with the goal to design a mobile friendly version of our website, but we quickly realized the website required a more holistic rebuild. So together, Habanero and the Pearson team took a design thinking approach that focused heavily on consulting with passengers very early in the process. Once we had synthesized our research into insights and early design ideas, we rapidly iterated on interactive prototypes and then went back to passengers to validate the experience and to get additional feedback. We learned a ton about passenger behavior with this approach, and it ensured that we deliver content and information that is valuable and helpful to visitors of the website. So let's take a look at some of the research specifics. We know that so much research nowadays can be done behind the desk. So we really placed a premium on understanding the in-terminal experience. There were several research activities and techniques we used to deeply understand the passenger experience. But let's take a look at some of the highlights. First, we facilitated 63 in-terminal interviews to allow for contextual feedback from passengers in the midst of their journey. And while there was a lot of rejection in order to find 63 volunteers to participate, the feedback was invaluable. We also ran 18 listing labs where we would observe how passengers approach planning for their trip 
and how they find information they need before arriving at the airport. And of course, there's the balance of user perspective uh, and the business uh, strategic direction. So we also conducted 44 interviews with stakeholders across the GTAA. And finally, we also ran through simulations of different connection scenarios. You can see us in the photo here, making note of signage details and other wayfinding cues for connecting passengers. And to guide us through this project, we developed design principles early on. These helped us set an overarching framework for decision-making and prioritization. Passengers need to be able to trust the information they're being provided. So while accurate might feel like a low bar, it's incredibly crucial when passengers are looking for some form of control in their journey. We also prioritized clear, succinct information over clever marketing or going too far with brand voice and tone. Passengers are looking for information that's easy to scan and understand while on the website. We also aim to surface helpful information and context wherever possible to give the passenger the confidence that they have everything they want to know ahead of time. And then given all the possible integration points on the website, from flight information to parking availability, we strive for frictionless experiences. We want to help the passenger move seamlessly throughout the digital experience. One discovery that we made through this project is that solving scenarios for those with different accessibility needs challenged us to think creatively about different solutions. This led us to making sure decisions were seen through the lens of those with various needs. And this resulted in creating better, easier experiences for everyone. We decided that beyond just meeting the minimum of some regulations, we wanted accessible design to become an obsession of the project to help create the best experience for all audiences. And deeply understanding who we're designing for is critical given the volume of people and scenarios we're supporting with the website. We also made a decision to develop archetypes instead of user personas for this project. For us, this meant emphasizing behavior and motivation for each audience type instead of crafting a robust narrative and backstory for each of them. And the website content also extends beyond the passenger experience to building social license. So we also looked at archetypes for airport employees and partners, as well as the community and neighbors of Pearson. And from a journey mapping perspective, we looked at the experience holistically from the lens of both in-terminal to all of the possible digital touch points before the passenger's arrival to and during their time at Pearson. This helped us identify gaps or areas of friction in the passenger journey so that we could better understand the opportunity to improve the experience. And in our design and ideation concept phase, we rapidly iterated and prioritized getting to a prototyping phase as early as possible so that we could validate and test our ideas directly with passengers. We used a tool called Lookback to conduct our usability testing so that we could continue to embrace a focus on the mobile experience. This is what you would see during a usability testing session. The participant could join remotely from their own home or office with their own mobile device. And we could not only observe and follow along with their interactions, but also have live video reactions as well. And so this brings us to the new digital experience for torontopearson.com. But before we jump into the solution itself, these are the pillars of the vision we developed for the overall experience. These pillars complemented our earlier design principles and helped ensure our design and content decisions were made with our research findings in mind. This also created guideposts for the digital team post-launch as the website operationalized. We'll touch on each of these in more detail as Curtis walks you through the new experience itself. Thanks, Eric. The first impression on the homepage is really about eliciting that wow factor and using the prime real estate to show things that people might not expect from an airport. And given the incredibly high mobile share of uh, website traffic at the time of starting the project, which was around 73%, uh, the decision around a mobile first responsive design approach was an easy one. And as we mentioned, the mobile focus extended beyond design to usability testing and throughout QA. From a technical perspective with Sitecore, we aim to move away from a monolithic architecture towards a tiered model with microservices. We built a solution to last because it needs to grow and scale with the organization. 
We're anticipating that new integration scenarios will arise in the future and set up the GTA to expand the solution. Another research finding was the perception outside and inside of Pearson varied noticeably. Those in terminal mentioned the wide variety of options across shopping, dining, and services. And while those who we interviewed and spoke with outside the terminal uh, instead had holdover perceptions of an older Pearson experience where they weren't able to find as much variety in selection and experience. Makes you think about how when you view an, uh, an airport's food and re retail offerings at home, can actually differ quite dramatically when you're actually at the airport. And this project gave us the opportunity to reflect in our digital space all the great work done being done by our commercial team in the terminals. To promote the new Pearson, we developed the concept of experience curators that you see here. These curators categorize experiences across shopping, dining, and services, and are easily reused throughout the website in a contextual way. Looking for that foodie experience? There's Toronto's Top Chefs. Want to know what's available along your journey through the airport? The curators personalized to your flight through our flight detail pages, as you'll see later. These curators were a great example of the design process working. Users didn't ask for them, our stakeholders didn't need them, but they came to life by a creative group of people finding that perfect intersection between user need and business objective. And another one of the ways we bring the new Pearson to life is through compelling photography. As part of this new digital strategy, there was a new creative direction developed for in-terminal photography that included new photos for almost every point of interest and service across Pearson. Being part of the photography experience was incredible. Getting uh, behind the scenes was one thing, but the upside was all of this amazing food. We certainly didn't let anything go to waste. And for the flight information on Toronto Pearson, which is a primary motivator for going to the website, we integrate with legacy flight information systems. And I know this might come as a surprise to many of you, but these legacy systems, they can be quite limiting and inflexible to work with. From a technical perspective, we can pull in information from these legacy systems and then manage and enrich them in Sitecore. This could be something as simple as how an originating or destination airport is formatted so that we can surface information in the most intuitive and clear manner. And as Curtis mentioned, we knew from our old website analytics, flight information was by far the primary reason visitors came to our website. The project could not jeopardize access to flight information. So the project looked at how we could enhance this step of the user journey. Instead of just providing the flight time and status, how could we better surface that information? reduce our passengers' stress, and bring further awareness to the airport's offerings. The result were these beautiful, detailed, step-by-step -step guides of a passenger's journey through the airport. And this experience is really about putting the passenger in control of their journey by providing information and context for every step of the way. We also use this opportunity to weave in accessibility considerations contextually through the journey, as well as any opportunities to shop, dine, or take advantage of Pearson's other amenities. And with Pearson's two terminals and multiple zones, there are hundreds of connection scenarios for us to support with the website. These connection guides empower the passenger by helping them understand all the necessary steps to make their connecting flight as streamlined and seamless as possible. This comes right down to mimicking the signage that they see in terminal. What's really cool is the Pearson team is able to manage all the connections logic within the Sitecore content authoring experience. Sitecore's flexible content tree structure enables their team to detail connection scenarios and allows authors to make cha a change to one or two connections or process a batch update for seasonal schedule changes. The Pearson website also integrates with numerous web services from bus and train transit information to parking availability. These services are managed by other organizations with varying levels of service support. So we built the experience to be reliable and low maintenance, but most importantly, to be self-healing. And what we mean by this is that the entire solution doesn't fail when some or all of the external services fail. The website will continue to stand with certain external services degraded. When a service fails, the Pearson team doesn't need to do a thing. 
data is cached, and then at a certain point, we display a friendly message to the visitor. And each restaurant, shop, and service at Pearson also has a dedicated page. For restaurants, the photography highlights the incredible food options. Front and center are key details such as the location, map details, and hours, so that the passenger has the highest priority information at hand. And for each restaurant, there's the ability to have digital menus so that passengers can plan right down to the meal level. Also included are health and dietary considerations to help with decision making around where to eat. Another upside to Sitecore is the agility it provides our organization. This is essential in an airport environment. For example, if a point of interest closed due to declining passenger demand, our content team can easily make one change and that point of interest is hidden wherever it's featured across the website, including on a flight detail page or a connections guide. Additionally, with Sitecore's managed cloud solution, we have the peace of mind of knowing that we can deploy an update multiple times a day without any downtime. So the project ended up delivering a beautiful, easy to use, mobile friendly and accessible website that was significantly simpler to manage and update. But what comes next? As part of the project, we had built a roadmap for new features, both fast follows and future. We launched release two with several enhancements just about a year ago. We've also identified future opportunities for further integrating our parking reservation system, duty-free purchases, and ordering food right to your gate, all through one experience. We're currently looking at rebuilding our internal kiosk experience on Sitecore, delivering on the promise of a centralized and unified experience across our digital products. We will continue to evolve and enhance personalization and look to leverage the great marketing capabilities, all powered by Sitecore. Looking back on this project a year and a half later, we definitely learned some things as an organization and in partnership with Habanero. We hope these lessons will help you on your next digital project. First, make sure you choose the right platform for your digital product, but also make sure you consider both your current and future needs. A flexible platform that can accommodate the growth of your organization's digital needs now will save you headaches down the road. Next, allow your project to have the time and resources to invest in research. It will ensure you're validating or invalidating your assumptions. And along those lines, test your product early with your actual audience in their space if possible to ensure it meets their needs and expectations. Also, consider the needs of your different users and design for them. This way, you'll find that you're solving frictions for all your users. If you don't have an accessibility specialist in-house, consult one. And even if you do, consult another one. More perspectives will help your inclusive design. And finally, establish your design principles and stick to them. It will help manage scope creep through the project and ensure that you deliver a consistent and cohesive experience. Thank you for your time today. And we'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to reach out to Eric or I. We also encourage you to check out torontopearson.com for yourself. Thank you.